In the past 20 years, things have evolved so rapidly that predicting what the world will look like in 300 years may seem absurd at first glance. Nevertheless, we sought out professionals, futurists, tech gurus, and forecasters to help us better understand what the future holds. We drew on their knowledge to obtain a feel for the good, terrible, and dystopian possibilities for the year 2300. In the year 2300, Huge technological developments will irrevocably alter the planet. For example, a planet with life has been discovered. Since antimatter powered probes were used, hundreds of planets were surveyed and dozens of star systems were discovered. Where one cell organisms have been found within 100 light years of our solar system by automated probes. As predicted, this kind of life is reproduced by binary vision. Like DNA, it has a very similar chemical structure. There is a strong possibility that this kind of life is widespread in the cosmos. Since it orbits a star far enough away from the star to have liquid water, the planet where it resides is suitable for life. There are also gas giants in the outer reaches of the solar system which shield the planet from oncoming comets. Then maybe the human race has moved on for good. We're seeing a significant increase in interstellar travel now that we can travel at speeds approaching those of light. Thousands of people and robots have taken up residence on planets in faraway star systems. There are a few human piloted spacecrafts amongst the many that are being piloted by Artificial General Intelligence AGI, or Super Intelligence SI. Typically, these pilots are transgender people who've had their bodies and minds extensively altered. Transhumans, on the other hand, are more able to handle long distance travel than normal humans. Well then, everybody will be a superhero. Nanotechnology, room temperature superconductors, anti-gravity force fields, and programmable matter have all advanced to levels that were previously inconceivable to individuals of the previous period. The most advanced synthetic human bodies and synthetic brains have already been used by certain people to attain a kind of realistic immortality. People now have the ability to have superhuman abilities that were previously unimaginable in the 21st century. People have the ability to become invisible or transform into other people depending on the technology they have access to. They can ascend from the ground to the top of a skyscraper in a matter of seconds by stretching their limbs to twice their length. When they touch someone who's hurt, they may heal them. Observe the ideas and feelings of others. Retrieve people's most recent memories and move massive things weighing up to tens of thousands of pounds. They're able to see through solid things, see atoms up close with their bare eyes, and employ telescopic vision to peer into the cosmos. With tiny cameras spread throughout their bodies, they can continually observe everything around them. They are capable of sprinting at breakneck speeds because their skin can pick up solar and vibrational energy from the environment. They can go without food or drink for a long time. And then humans can occupy the whole solar system. In terms of space settlements, Earth's moon is the most populous. Millions of people live there year round. Because of this, the red planet has proclaimed its independence from the Earth's rule. It is densely populated with cities linked by a hyper fast automated train network. Also, enormous terraforming efforts are in progress on the planets of Mars and Venus. Within our solar system, asteroid mining has now surpassed all other industries in terms of income. Because of advancements in nanotechnology and related sectors, these asteroids may be scrapped literally atom by atom, ensuring that nothing is wasted. Moreover, Jupiter is seeing a continuous stream of transhumans and sentient machines looking for a new home. Additionally, it is siphoned for its massive hydrogen and helium reserves. Even in Jupiter's upper atmosphere, a growing number of floating cities and enormous refineries are starting to take shape. In the meantime, the metals found on Jupiter's moons are being mined. Many scientists believe that the development of gas miners on faraway worlds like Uranus and Neptune will accelerate substantially in the next decades and millennia. However, asteroids and moons are already becoming smart rocks thanks to neural networks buried on their surfaces and inside their bodies. Large-scale scientific studies and automated mining operations may now be handled by sophisticated artificial intelligence thanks to this technology. Well, in 2300, the tech would be able to protect the Earth from asteroids. There are dozens of lasers being developed on planets and moons 
all throughout the solar system to keep an asteroid or a comet from hitting Earth. In many cases, humans are able to predict an asteroid crash that may occur months or even years down the road. As a result of the laser's impact, the asteroid's paths are significantly altered, making a collision with Earth very unlikely. And in 2300, for the first time ever, teleportation is accessible to everyone. Using a nanobot-based synthetic body, a human may now travel thousands of kilometers without leaving the body. The use of wirelessly linked teleporter units at two different places makes this feasible. Whenever teleportation happens, the receiving teleportation machine shares the recipient's nanobots and awareness. Biological organisms, on the other hand, are more difficult to move because transporters need to destroy any original copies of the organisms. Also, Moore's law has reached its physical limits. Today, a computer that weighs just 2 to 3 pounds can execute computations that are more than 40 orders of magnitude more powerful than the most powerful supercomputers of two centuries ago. As a result, computer platforms are now at a density and efficiency level that is theoretically possible, according to the laws of nature. This was made possible by artificial superintelligence building subatomic matrices on a very small scale. These diamond-like materials can now encode information at sizes that are several orders of magnitude smaller than those possible with current nanotech methods. Prior to this point, heat control was a major concern. The early 2000s saw the equivalent of a thermonuclear explosion in terms of heat produced by computers with this much processing capacity. Even though new physics discoveries later solved this and many other problems, they didn't solve all of them. And lastly, Earth's ecosystems are being repaired. During the previous two centuries, human activity has caused massive harm to the Earth's natural environment. During that time period, pollution caused the extinction of half of the world's known species. As a result of global warming, conflicts, deforestation, mining, and the creation of new towns and cities have all taken place. Furthermore, deserts have been turned back into forests because of the widespread use of artificial rain and other weather manipulation techniques. As part of an effort to better treat real animals, android zoos were set up a long time ago. Well, these are the breakthroughs and technologies that piqued my curiosity the most. No doubt there are a great many more. Let us know in the comments below if you have any ideas. We would be delighted to hear your thoughts on the technology of the future.